Hello, I'm Bill Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special investing report brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. I've just come back from the Waitakere Trust's stadium where John Key has delivered his State of the Nation address for 2011, which will be an election year. And there was a, quite a big surprise in which he said the government would consider selling up to half of four big electricity and coal energy companies. Now they include Meridian Energy, Genesis Energy, Mighty River Power and Solid Energy. The government would also consider selling more of Air New Zealand. John Key seems to have gotten religion on the issue of debt reduction. Before Christmas he seemed quite relaxed about the fact the government would be borrowing money offshore for the next four or five years to the tune of up to another 40 to 50 billion dollars. Remember New Zealand's overseas debt its overall debt, which includes private debt and government debt, is around about 85% of GDP. Now, when you get to 100%, people get really worried. And 85% is actually quite a high level because it compares with the likes of Portugal, Greens, Greece, Spain and Ireland, the so-called pigs. But up until Christmas, John Key was relatively relaxed about it because he said New Zealand government debt was relatively low at below 15%. It was going to rise to around about 28.5%, but he said quietly that Standard & Poor's wouldn't get too concerned unless it rose over 30%. Remember, Standard & Poor's have put New Zealand's credit rating on watch for a possible downgrade. However, over Christmas, John Key seemed to get religion on the issue of foreign debt and on debt reduction. He came out very strongly in a speech saying, that New Zealand couldn't afford to keep borrowing so strongly, in particular the New Zealand government. And he's saying the government needs to control its budget more strictly and also look to sell some assets to make sure that we don't use that money to borrow from offshore. So this is quite a change in the government's approach. He hasn't really talked much about asset sales until now, but John Key is saying he will go to the election with a policy that's going to be considered by Treasury of looking at whether to sell those assets. And he's limited at this stage to Genesis, Meridian, Mighty River Power and Solar Energy, maybe a bit of Air New Zealand. He hasn't talked about Kiwi Bank or New Zealand Post or other assets, and he said he won't do it unless, of course, he wins the election. So there's a couple of elements here for investors and for the government as an investor. The government has to consider, is it better off holding on to those assets, the 100% of the assets, and receiving all the dividends and issuing some debt and having to pay the interest on that debt? Or is it better off selling the assets and not having to raise the debt? So from an investment point of view, the Treasury will have to look at the prospect of, let's say it sells $5 billion worth of assets, and let's say those $5 billion worth of assets were producing 4 or 5% returns. Is that better than having to raise $5 billion in debt and pay 5 or 6% in terms of the debt repayments, particularly if they're offshore. And that's a decision the government will have to take, and they've said they'll tell us all what Treasury says. This really sets up quite an interesting prospect for the election later this year, and Labour, no doubt, will be against asset sales. And we have Labour in the State of the Nation address from Phil Goff yesterday saying he wanted to impose a new higher tax rate on the very wealthy, those earning well into the $100,000 mark. This would help pay for a tax break, essentially, for the first $5,000 of everyone's income. And John Key has attacked this as fiscally irresponsible. He says we can't afford a tax break that's paid for with foreign borrowings, despite the fact he just delivered a big tax break last year that is being paid for by foreign borrowings. This is a really interesting prospect now for the election, where we have two parties with quite different views on tax rates and foreign asset sales, something we didn't have going into the, the last election. It's an interesting prospect for investors. They may, after the election, be able to invest in the likes of Genesis, Meridian, Mighty River Power and Solid Energy. And the government has a big investment decision to take and to take into the next election. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was a special investor report brought to you in association with Bank of New Zealand. Music